done. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Uh, I welcome the clarity of my right honourable friend's statement uh, today, and I look forward to the publication tomorrow of the Defence and Security Industrial Strategy alongside it, which provides, I hope, a degree of coherence, which uh, is very, will be very welcome to uh, all those involved in supporting our armed forces. In, in light of the necessary decision to proceed with upgrading the warhead for the strategic deterrent, can my right honourable friend explain to the House the rationale for increasing the number of warheads during the transition from one system to the next? And will the cost in developing the strategic deterrent absorb any of the welcome 6.6 .6 billion R&D programme that's been announced? Secretary of State. Uh, I'm grateful to my right honourable friend, and my right honourable friend laid the foundations for really linking prosperity in a much more deliberate and thoughtful manner into defence and defence procurement, uh, and I hope he will see that reflected uh, in the strategy tomorrow. It is, of course, welcome that this review brings more prosperity, with the investment in boxes to be made in places like Telford, Ajax and Merthyr Tydfil, uh, a challenger upgrade, uh, and the commitment to a next generation of aerospace. And uh, as a Lancashire MP, the importance of typhoon, the prosperity that has given us all in my part of the world, uh, is incredibly important. On the rationale of the deterrent, uh, it, it cannot be taken in a one-sided view. You have to look across at our adversary at Russia to see the investments that they have made uh, and their plans to both, as we noticed in 2018, break the intermediary intermediate uh, nuclear, nuclear treaty, uh, which was broken in 2018, their investments in new weapon systems, but also in missile defence. Uh, if we're going to keep it as credible, uh, then we need to make sure uh, we do so. Uh, when it comes to the R&D budget, the £6.6 .6 billion, uh, is, I am not uh, aware, uh, and I will uh, write to him and correct if it is the case, that that £6.6 .6 billion is anything to do with the nuclear warhead programme or anything else. For clarity, Madam Deputy Speaker, the United Kingdom does not buy warheads from other countries. Under the Nuclear Proliferation Treaty, warheads have to be developed within that very country itself. Thank you. Jamie.